Hey everyone, Stan White from Scrapper's Workshop here with another video quick tip for you. I just love doing panoramic pictures and as you can see here's one that I did recently and it's I'm really really happy with it but this is a common thing that happens with panoramic pictures. And what that is is that's this white border around the edges and that's caused because you can never have your tripod exactly a hundred percent level and exactly a hundred percent perfect perfect when you're doing these pictures and what it generates is is these white edges now you could go ahead and go in like with your crop tool or your marquee tool or something like that and crop a smaller section out of here but that kind of loses the intent of the original panoramic and it gets rid of a lot of your original picture area so with Adobe Photoshop CS5 we have a new tool that will allow us to really really fix these pictures now I could go ahead and take my clone stamp tool and go ahead and very carefully you know just start cloning in this area here but that would take a lot of time this new tool which is called content aware fill is going to automatically fill in these areas for me let me go ahead and show you how it works what I want to do first is I want to select the areas that I want to fill in. So I'm going to use my color range and go ahead and select the white areas. As you can see, it did a pretty darn good job. Okay, but of course in the picture I got a couple of little white areas. So I'm going to use my lasso tool and holding down my Alt button it allows me to take those out of my selection. right there there we go now for content to wear fill to work it needs a little bit to chew on to kind of uh, get started on so I'm going to go to select modify and I'm going to expand my selection just a little bit I'm do it by uh, just two pixels here as you see that's gone ahead and moved my marching ants into the picture a little bit so it has just a little bit to start working on and I see I picked up a couple of white areas back in my picture so I'll get rid of those real fast and this doesn't have to be perfect there we go now comes the magic now what we want to go on want to do is go to edit fill and you'll see one of the new choices under your fill menu is now content aware and this is where the magic is going to happen what content aware fill does is, is it analyzes what it thinks should be underneath the area where your white selection is and automatically draws it in for you and it just works amazing so let me go ahead and click OK and watch the magic there not too bad now this would have taken me a ton of time to have to go in and manually retouch all this now it isn't perfect you'll see that it picked up this little bit of um, white area here but that's easily fixed what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it there we go and what I'm going to do is actually go to edit fill content aware fill again and it filled that area in right away. Now look how much better that panoramic gets. Nice square edges, everything's filled in. Now granted it isn't perfect, you know it didn't do a perfect job here over here, but I, now I can use my clone stamp tool to just kind of fix up those areas and make it a little bit better. But it saved me a ton of time and made me a much much better panoramic picture. So thanks for listening to this video quick tip from Scrapper's Workshop. I'm Stan White and check out our YouTube channel for other videos on Photoshop and scrapbooking. Thanks.